Okay. Let me explain. <laughs> I was messing around on this game. I beat the story mode. I thought... Ah, I'm going to see what chapter challenge is, and it's basically the story mode, but everything's... I'll read this. Special Agent Sonia, the, 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 the Master's Mother, the Miramasa, the Skyscrapers Tokyo. Uh, main character. Bad thing. This one has a star ranking and everything's fully upgraded, so I was like... Eh. I'll just play this one, right? Yeah. Chopper. In the future, every helicopter has a weird internal blade. Except that one. <laughs> Yo. So, let me get this straight. Mm, let me see here. <laughs> you don't have a clue where I can find Ryu Hayabusa? No one knows where a ninja goes. <laughs> If he isn't at the Hayabusa village, <laughs> look at this fucking cliche of an old man. Sonia, was it? Do you look have at this cliche you? of a woman? <laughs> and what might that be? All I'll say is that it concerns the Archfiend. Did you know CIA agents oh, dress like that all the time for no reason? I know it's Ninja Fury, but for fuck's sake. <laughs> Busting in like a Kool Aid man. Ninjas defeated by God. Fuck my gun. <laughs> no. Oh, I run away. Oh, Chain does that convenient thing that doesn't actually happen in real life. Oh no. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh. Oh, they're just gonna kill her, thank god. Visibly kill her. The only ninja in the entire franchise to be killed by the basic shuriken, what the fuck? Oh, to be fair, that guy just needed to be fired, he didn't hear him. He's like, who are you? <laughs> Tomahawk, really? <laughs> Calm down, Nightwolf. We have the woman. I expected more, you Hayabusa. <laughs> Running off with the girl. Come back, that's my woman. I own her. <laughs> <laughs> This one has a style ranking in the corner, it tells me how I'm doing, which is fucking poorly. <laughs> Something wrong with your door, Muramasa. It's like a ninja fell through it. If it isn't Ryu. <laughs> they were minions of the Black Spider Clan. <sighs> Indeed they were. We haven't heard from them in a while. Who was the woman? You don't know her? Neither do I. <laughs> you couldn't save her? Neither did I. No one cares. She was looking for you. She said it was about the... Archfiend. So this whole game... The Archfiend. If she hadn't had said that to him before she got attacked and abducted, he, they would just be like, Who was that chick? I don't know. In this game. Yeah. So, big changes to Sigma and the Master Collection in general. A lot less blood, a lot more purple smoke. And people aren't beheaded anymore. They get purple smoke instead. That. Except his whole torso came off there. Now, I kind of half-assed the getting all of the boxes thing, because I start to go, 
Yeah, you know what? I'm playing on Acolyte. I don't really need all these things. Like, I don't need 400 herbs at all times. Somehow caught me by surprise. I was like, really not expecting them to be here. Today. Is he dead? He's dead. Gotta get the blood off the sword. Yeah. A lot less backtracking from the vanilla version as well. In vanilla, you had to go back and forth a lot, opening doors and shit. In this, they just want to open. So there's, there's just a few quality of life changes, and like, I'm here for it, it's fine. At the moment, I'm just using the base weapon, the dragon sword. It's not you, you know what I mean. I'm just trying some shears. Flail, the Aztec Sword, Tonfa, Scythe, I don't like the Scythe, Blade of the Archfiend, Surigama, Falcon Talons, Lunar Staff. So I'm just going to go through them all and try and just mess around with them and show them a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say, when I first played through this game, they give you the base weapon of the Eclipse Scythe, and I fucking hated it. And it wasn't until I played this version that I went, oh, this is what the scythe could have been. But they wanted you to upgrade it three times first before it would be in any way fun. And it's just too slow. I don't like that. That's the same reason I don't use this Fang very often, because it's, here comes the pain. Big slow weapon. The staff is more fun. It's got like a medium kind of speed to it, so it's not too bad. There's got to be something down here, right? A box. A tutorial box. Fuck you, box. So a lot of the time I deliberately fall down pits because I think there's a box in them, then the box is, hey, you fell down the pit, maybe you need to be tutorialized, and it's like, oh, <laughs> I thought it was an item. Whatever changes. In the vanilla version, you had incendiary shuriken that you only had a limited amount of. In this, you cannot have them, you just have standard shuriken. There's no windmill shuriken either. Yeah, I love these weapons. This is one of my favorite weapons in the game. The Wolverine claws. <laughs> and the foot blades. Oh. Most of my time fighting the camera in this game. It's like you're flying off the screen. Dead. Box. Got the herb. <laughs> the only time I use herbs of spiritual life or brains of spiritual life is when my brain has checked out and I'm just like, how do thing? And I'm just like, you know, really badly. Come on. <laughs> like, you know, I don't like using health items in character action games, but for a lot of the bosses, I'm just like, oh, and I'm just taking hits I don't need to take because I'm an idiot. Great angle here. Cutsy shit. Oh, fuck, why are we fighting on the stairs? The game clearly wanted us to fight in the arena. Oh, fuck. Well, he's dead now. Better, better inform his family. Haha. <laughs> Very flippy. Lots of, lots of shiz you can do with the flail. I jump down here going, oh, there must be a box, and there's no box. That was a waste of my time. I'm like, maybe there is a box. No, no, there isn't a box. Oh well. Not a speed run. Just having some fun. Just chilling, drinking my beer, playing 
is some ninja game. Murdering fools. <laughs> Jump into the blades. Dead. Gotta clean it, gotta clean it, gotta clean it. Yeah. It's dirty, I need to clean it. All these guys have one arm, so they have to do the obliteration technique. But, you know, I killed them too quickly, so I only did one. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I, I know that one. And then I just stand here like a punk bitch for five seconds left. Like, oh, I'm getting hit. It's because I was watching uh, the Sakurai announcement that like, Kazu is in the game and that Dante's a Wii fighter and was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and then it distracted me and I took two hits and I was like, why is Dante a me fighter? What the fuck? Why is Shante a me fighter? Oh, I don't even play Smash and that upset me. Oh well. More Devil May Cry content coming on the channel later, so it's fine. Fuck engagement. I will play every character action game all at the same time. I do not give a fuck. <coughs> why put a, why put a box here? They're just making me walk all the way down here for a fucking mushroom. <laughs> and then I have to go all the way back and then I'm like, oh shit, yeah, there's another one on the other side. Oh yeah, key powers. I'm not using them. I, I barely use them. I, ooh. Yeah, the game hangs there for me. I'm playing the PS4 version. It always hangs there. <clears throat> the area is too big. Oh, hello, friends. I forgot I had the Tonfas equipped. Uh, Tonfas are weird. I love them, but at the same time, I feel like they don't do enough damage. But then sometimes, if you get the right techniques out, it does a really good job. Like that. But you gotta hit them a lot. You gotta hit him a lot. You dead? Oh, I was gonna throw you off the waterfall. Okay, um. Don't be a tutorial. Oh, fuck. It's just coins. Do, you, do the coins even carry over in Chapter Challenge? They probably don't, right? I mean, you don't need to buy anything in Sigma anyway. All the weapon upgrades are given to you, with, and you just get them at certain parts of the game. Like, you get a little bit of a choice, but you can pick one, basically. Uh, like, shop with the blue light. Which kind of ruins the point of the yellow essence. It's kind of like Brave Souls in Devil May Cry. After you fully upgraded everything in Devil May Cry 4, you just don't have any use for the red orbs in 5 either. I'm actually thinking about it. Because it's like, do you want to buy this consumable? which will lower your score if you use. <laughs> and it's like, no. I want to go back and play the game without consumables. Yeah! Bish. Gotta, gotta drop Izuna drop all, like, throw as many people as possible, because ninjas are throw characters. I love the concept of the dual Japanese katana thing. Japanese katana! But, um... Okay, I'll shut up now. I don't remember this in the vanilla version of the game. I was like, what the f Pretty sure it's a new boss. But you remember it's been like over 15 years or some shit since I played the original game. So yeah, this weapon, I love the concept. But it just feels a little too like awkward and difficult to use in certain situations. Yeah. It's gonna drop. So, like, it feels too wide, if that makes any sense. Like, it lacks the precision of the single Japanese sword. I mean the katana. I mean the dragon sword. Whatever. 
I'm like, ooh, is there a box there? No, there isn't. If I ever pause for a certain amount of time, it's because I want to clean my swords. He does it in his idle one animation. That guy tried to. Ah, he. he actually a cool concept that I liked in the vanilla game, but I very often found I'm being killed because I'm using this weapon I think is neat, but I'm not very good with it, and I'm better with other weapons, so I just need to stop using this weapon now. But at high level, it does some really neat shit, but like, it's just... I need to work out which situation it's best for, you know? It's like... Probably got a longer start up. I think that's the problem. Like a lot of the stuff for the dual blades, is a high start up. Whereas like the claws and the tonfers and stuff is really quick start up. A lot of speed. I like the speedier weapons more. You know that there's going to be something here. Like, from off screen, really? You're just gonna throw shit at me from off screen? That's a dick. It's this guy. He does this shit. <laughs> I always used to think these guys were like cheese or something. I have fire spells too. Like, oh, on fire, what the hell? Completely fine with being having their arms stabbed off, but like the moment they get caught on fire, they're like, oh no, this is the worst pain. Hey, friend. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's yellow. Why did it hit? Just do the thing. No. Oh shit. Ugh. Ugh. Haha. <laughs> hit your hand. Oh. Reminds me of the Galactus fight. <laughs> In, uh. Marvel 3. <laughs> Here comes the big hand! Can you dodge the big hand? No, because I'm stupid. Oh, okay. Well, then you're going to lose. Ah, I walked into that. Ah, I kill you. No? Well, there was an execution. Sure there's a box to the left that I forgot to go get, so yeah, sue me. Oh no, it's here. Now we go left. Huh. Nothing here, nothing here. Fluorescent tree. I know that there's like Cherry blossoms in Japan, but I like that. Then look glowing. Yeah! So that's the ultimate technique, and basically, anytime you have time, you should just be charging those because it just makes certain encounters much easier. I'll try out a different Ninpo. Up. Yeah, sorry, I don't read those because they're basically you can summarize them as, "Wow, I'm bad at the game and can't base <laughs> and can't do the basic techniques, and now I'm dead," which is basically the game's sort of ham-fisted way of saying get good. <laughs> huh. 
Just like, look, I'm dead because I couldn't work out how to block. Ooh, maybe you should learn how to block. <laughs> <laughs> or how to sh war run. Secret grains. Oh, hello. been working quite well for me, but like, probably isn't like a good idea. I was kind of planning on cutting the thing. I feel like now it's going to do that thing. Very near come up for pain. Just wait for a few more frames. Everything is about faster. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically all you can buy in the shop for the whole game is just stuff that you can find in the environment and oh, let's use the side. Kill the bats. Basically that guy goes, I can't war run and I'm stuck on this girder forever. Ah, such a cruel fate. So this is the first time in a long time I've used this side. This is fine. I'll try and fiddle with it a little more. More mushrooms. of going backwards here and thinking there'll be a box and then wasting my time. There isn't a box. Really? You're just going to blink at me on the bar. Instant kill. Okay, so it's got some stuff I was wrong before. Feels much better now. You know, the three versions. Okay. 
interesting weapon that really doesn't sell itself at level 1 and just feels like a big slow dumb monster hunter weapon that's just difficult to use so that's a bit unfortunate but like once you get your hands on the real thing it's pretty good oh that, that is pretty evil looking building to be fair you could have made that hideout a little more like subtle doing the ninja thing. Oh, that was not very nice. He was like, let me join. I don't just want to watch. Here's Ryu Hayabusa is just immune to all fall damage, so just don't think about it too much. Ninjas have like flexi feet or something. Can jump ridiculous. They don't, don't jump. stop in a second. You get a lot more shit at each level you see here. It says the badge in the corner. But I'm reading it like, oh shit. I don't know about this one. The flying crane. I should read. <laughs> 